we're going to learn one of my favorite slow airs. It's a tune that I first heard play by my fiddle teacher, Carol Ann Wheeler. I remember hearing her play this in the National Scottish Fiddle Contest in New Hampshire. So you start with a pickup on the third finger, walking up to that B, then open D up to the third finger, then B, second finger, and down to G. So that whole phrase. And you hang there for a while and I kind of will put an extra pulse. And we might even add some grace notes there once we get to the advanced version. The next phrase starts on that A and it walks up the scale. So you're going to walk up from the A, come back to the A, then B, down to your third finger, and then second, open, Okay, so let's take a look at Coyle's Field House, the advanced version. Um, it's really just more of the same. We're going to add a lot of these grace notes um, that we've been doing on the other tunes. So if you haven't had a chance to check out the Scottish Grace Notes tutorial yet, now is the time to do it. We're going to be using some flicks and hammer-ons and waterfalls. I love using the waterfall in a slow tune. And we'll be using a little bit of vibrato. Uh, so let's kick it off right here with a very kind of gentle hammer-on slash flick, which sometimes I call the hammer flick. And then a little bit of vibrato at the end of that note. So when I go up to that next part, D, G, I'm actually playing the D and then I'm kind of catching it and playing it again before I hammer on into the G. So I go. It's like there's two hammer-ons into the G, the D and the F sharp. Down to the B, all in one bow. Up, up, and then waterfall down to the G. 